Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I am an illumined Blu-ray twin flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well today. So it's eclipse season. It's eclipse season before it's the new season of the equinox. So today what I want to talk to you about several things, twin flames and these, the Venus retrograde, which is coming up and the Jupiter retrograde that we're already in. As you may be aware, especially if you are a Blu-ray, you've already been going through some of this. And if last week you felt weepy, you felt sadness for some unexplicable reason, there are reasons for it. It's maybe not something that happened in your life. And this is a time of more departures. This is a time of, you know, people leaving. There are going to be people that leave your circle of acquaintance. It's quite deliberate. There's also going to be, as we know, deaths and storms, and it is a change of the season. And this is where the winds of change, you know, stir things up and get things moving, move the energies. But what does it mean right here at the physical level? And a lot of you will say, but I have lives, but I have responsibility, but I have children. Yes, and the changes will still keep happening. How do you best acclimate yourself to it? How do you get the proper awareness so that you feel guided to what is correct for you? And there are reasons that all these things are moving and shifting around. So the twin flames for the Venus and Jupiter retros, it's coming with the equinox and it will either fling you forward or what's it going to do? What's it going to do for you? Are you being flung forward? Have you made decisions and choices? Have you been confused? There is a lot of mental confusion that goes with this energy and it seems out of reach. We have moved the earth and the heavens already. That's a big part of what's been happening over the past several years, moving the heavens as well as moving the earth. And some of you might say, yes, but I still don't know what the hell is going on. Ah, it's not what the hell is going on. It's what in heavens is going on? How do you get there? How do you reach it? How do you connect it to yourself? How do you feel it? Okay. Do you see or sense the divine masculine? Some people do. Some people will feel very much. Some people are having dreams on another level. It becomes confusing. It's especially confusing in the light of day when you wake up and you say, what was that? What's going on with that? How do I know? What should I do? How do I do this by being who I am? How do I be who I am? Are you ready to be, are you ready to really uh, learn this in a simple and easy way? Okay, so once again, I have a few little demonstrations here for you. And you have this couple here, and she very clearly knows who he is. She has not wavered. She's seen him, she felt him from the very first day they met. He even felt her, except what he did was he retreated and he went to sleep on it. He's a bit of a sleeper. Yes, he is. And this is upsetting because she can see and sense the divine masculine. Everyone's been saying it. And she said, where is he? Where is he? Where? Oh, I finally found him. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. That's not going to wake him up, okay? There are things to know about this process, and I remind you once again, it is a process. Ladies and gentlemen, like it or not, so that you don't have a nervous breakdown, so that sleeper number one doesn't have a nervous breakdown, this is a process. But she doesn't know what to do. And the more angry she gets, the more up in her head she gets, and the less she can feel and sense. And it's becoming very confusing. And it's starting to feel like it's some kind of strange cosmic joke. Why would, 
well, yes, God. Why would God show her something and then he's asleep at the wheel? He's asleep. He doesn't intend to be asleep. He doesn't know what to do either. He doesn't even know that he was about to do it. Do what? Did you say do it? No, I mean do by being, being who he is. Yes, that's who I mean. Let us not become confused here. It's no longer about just doing it. In fact, both of you have done this plenty. You have done it and done it and done it with soulmates multiple times in multiple lives on multiple levels. When are you ready to be with each other? Okay, wake up. That's not going to work. I told you already who we are. Yes, but I'm not feeling it. I don't feel the same way you do. I I just want to live my life. You know, I can feel you thinking. It's very disturbing. I can't work. I just can't work. And then, you know, I just, I get really stressed. You know, you're so intense. I'm intense. What do you think I've been doing every night? And they're starting to do the blame game. Blame, judgment. And she's starting to feel bad. He's starting to feel bad. And guess what? They're not feeling each other anymore. And pretty soon, she starts to encounter people. And guess what happens? Are you my twin? Are you my twin? Are you my twin? You kind of look like him. The hair is a little different. But, well, I'll take you. I'll take you. Oh, what a relief. Now, maybe I can get some work done, except guess what happens? He is just a 3D, 4D soulmate, and pretty soon she can't feel at all. How does she get back to feeling? Okay, now you have another couple, and... Sorry, you have another couple, and they very much love each other. Very, 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 very much. They feel each other. They haven't really wavered on it, and yet their life is undergoing such turmoil. There's chaos all around them. Dear, I just don't know what we're going to do. My mother's sick. The kids need things. I know, I know. I keep trying to get my thing off the ground. I keep trying to get my own calling off the ground and help us. But every time I try, people call me for help. I know, we, we just, they need our help. You know, we're here to help humanity. I know. Well, um, do you have any money to give me for the groceries? You know, we're kind of broke. I mean, I don't know what we can do. There might have to be someone we borrow from. Well, let me see what I can do. I, I, I don't know. Let's, let's pray on it. Somebody's hearing their prayers, but somebody is saying, within you is everything you need. The way is within you. Within me? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? No. I was thinking about things. You're thinking about things. What are you thinking about? And pretty soon, they cannot feel. They cannot feel what is the guidance for them. How to get their own abundance off the ground. What they should do. How do they properly help the people around them instead of feeling depleted? And then you have this couple. He is very disciplined. She is very glitz and glam. She loves the high life. He thinks she's very materialistic. And they're having trouble getting on the same page. She likes the finer things. And it's not that he doesn't, but he doesn't really get into all of that worldly stuff. He likes to have comfort, for sure. However, they have felt like they're on two different pages. Sometimes he feels like he's up here and she's not very spiritually aware. And sometimes she feels like 
she's way up here and very aware and very spiritually aware and maybe even a tad spiritually superior. And she can feel and sense the divine masculine, except how are they going to get it all together? Now, if you want to find a way to not only fling yourself forward, but to feel, to feel the truth for yourself, to focus on the person who has all, everything that you need packed in on the inside. And if you want to know within you, what is the guidance for you? Because when it comes to connecting to the heavens, okay, and not just connecting to earth, look at everything is starting to still blow a gasket and fall apart. The government is failing. Everyone wants, you know, something to make it, fix it. Well, guess what? It gets fixed from within. This is the inside job that you then bring outside. It's not all an inside job. You have to formulate it, create it, and then bring it out just like anything, just like this device, just like this device that I record on, just like um, how you find me, YouTube. You know, somebody created it first, but it was created with love. It was created with an intention that people enjoy it, um, people, yes, value it, and there is something to be said in the value of having connections from above because this is what will heal you. This is what will help you to continue to create your abundance. So my uh, brand new mini group that I have, which I call Blue Infusion, and yes, I am a reconnective person, meaning that I help people to reconnect, to feel. Now feel me, feel each other. That's what it's all about. This is a way to get connected and begin to open your higher subtle body connection points for your twin flame. I'm having one on March 2nd, March 3rd, the 5th, the 9th, the 10th, the 16th, I'm sorry, the 12th and the 16th, just prior to the equinox. Now the equinox is later this month. We're already in March, ladies and gentlemen. This is March. So if you want to fling yourself forward, if you're ready to see what the heavens have to offer you, because that's where some of the deepest soul damage has come from. It's come from when you've been, you know, someplace else. And it's not, it's been repeated here on earth and repeated and repeated and repeated. So if like this couple you know, you feel like somebody's asleep and, you know, maybe, yeah, they're asleep at the wheel. How is it if this person is actually a heart surgeon and yet he is perceived as being asleep and somehow less than or limited? Guess what's being created? What's being created is he won't be optimal at doing the job he does. What if this person is an airline pilot responsible for flying people? Two or three hundred people at a time. You better believe he needs all of his senses and his connections about him. What are you doing to assist both of you? And a lot of people, you know, might not understand that subtle bodies means that this is subtle connections. These are subtle connections, subtle energies, and they also are sometimes barely perceptible. You need to be able to really, you know, cut through some of the stuff so that you will know what is appropriate for you. Not what's appropriate for me or your neighbor or all of the other people in Twin Flame Landia. What is good for you and your twin? What's best for you? Because pretty soon, um, this is going to still happen. And even though people say, well, you know, people talk about these portals. Okay, well, check it out and find out what's going to happen at these portals, portals of energy. Because 
those portals are enablers. They are the delivery system. So there it is. If you would like to join, please check out the link below. It's also on my website, which is twinflamesmerge.com. And I hope to see you there. I hope you'll join. I think you'll find it immensely helpful. There's several dates to select from. And not only that, coming up, um, I will be doing uh, quite a bit of physical, one-on-one, -on -one, reconnective uh, healing with people. And that's not too far away. So thank you so much for listening. I hope you have a wonderful week. I hope that the Venus retrograde doesn't affect you too much. Be kind to yourself, all right? Remind yourself this is a process. And also communications, okay? Be willing to give people the benefit of the doubt. One of the things with this re retrograde will be missed communications or miscommunicating, misunderstandings, not meetings of the mind because you're not meeting the mind anymore. This is a heart thing. This is a heart and soul thing. So have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Bye now.